How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Clutch City Chronicles, and today we're going to be talking about last night's game against the Trailblazers, and along with that, we're, I'm going to be talking about basically, you know, issues I see within I the team this far in terms of rotations and stuff like that. But just in general, last night, it was just an inefficient night from our main scorers, you know. You got Jalen Green, he had a very inefficient night, nearly shot 20% from the field. Jabari Smith Jr. continues to, you know... I guess he can say he continues to be inefficient, unfortunately, but I feel like once he finds his stride and his footing in the league, he's definitely going to be more of a reliable shooter for the team. But as of right now, he has not proven to be that, unfortunately. Kevin Porter Jr., in my opinion, thus far this season, has proven to be our best player on the floor. Of course, that's going to probably change with time as Jalen Green is just definitely going to be that number one guy on the team. But as of right now, Kevin Porter Jr. is definitely leading the charge as even he had an inefficient night last night, but it wasn't as inefficient as the other guys I just mentioned. And of course, he did other things for us like three steals and of course just played amazing defense, you know, in last night's loss against the Blazers. Shingun finally started after, what, five games? He has finally gotten his first start. You know, this is quite confusing for me. I thought Shingun was going to be our starting center with Bruno as the backup. But all of a sudden, Silas just pulls out, you know, a Uno reverse card and just completely changes things on the night of opening night and basically starts Bruno over Alperan, a guy who can easily provide you 15 points per game along with, you know, 8 to 10 rebounds and maybe even 1 to 2 blocks. And like last night, he had like, what, 15 points, 11 rebounds, and like 3 blocks. Like, Shingun definitely deserves to start on a nightly basis. That needs to change really soon. And one more thing the Rockets really got to change moving forward is giving Josh Christopher mi more minutes on a nightly basis. Like last night, I believe Garrison Matthew had what 14 minutes Knicks had 13 minutes and then all of a sudden Josh Christopher only was left with one freaking minute to play and that was like the final minute of the game it's absolutely a travesty that Garrison Matthews and Knicks are getting significantly more minutes than a guy like Christopher like Christopher is a young player don't get me wrong but he's proven to be a winning player for the team many many times last season and of course this season whenever he just comes in he just provides this whole new level of energy and plays with a great intensity that you just cannot replace so moving forward i definitely believe christopher should be getting more minutes than guys like matthews and nicks combined you know if you can give them 14 each you can definitely give christopher you know 12 to 14 minutes on a nightly basis because he's just so impactful off the bench and he's just a great young player for this team and i just hate how he's only getting you know one minute uh of showtime per night that's just completely disrespectful in my opinion and it's really a call on silas to improve that sooner than later and of course this could be an internal issue i'm not really sure about that but if it's not it's just an issue on the coaching's behalf so really i want to hear your guys thoughts on the rockets thus like far this. like if you enjoyed the video and of course make sure to make sure to subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one